Hello, after some requests about a uh, little more information about the flag ghost uh, belt tensioner system. So, of course, it's an active one that uses a motor, uh, a belt to transfer uh, the force uh, in the rollers. And, uh, the roller is 3D printed, it clips on the belt, and then you clip it on. I put some boxes to represent kind of it reminds <laughs> forever um, yeah so I can demonstrate uh, how it tightens and everything uh, right now it's off I have it uh, connected uh, on one extra servo I have there uh, five um, I have enabled the platform but uh, I'll just show you this so um, I connect it with a remote uh, control, so there's a receiver that enables the power for the servo drive. Uh, so as soon as I enable it, it should uh, pull in the opposite way, and this is the home position there for it. So you can activate it after, uh, you turn everything on SIM hub, uh, and uh, you can hook this up uh, somewhere uh, on your belt. If you need to turn it off for some reason, if you are unable to unhook, you can just uh, disable this uh, to loosen up completely. If anything goes wrong. Um, so on SIM hub, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna have to disable the motion first of all. Go where it says the motion. And uh, See in the output settings on the top, it will bring up uh, the page uh, with uh, what I have defined, uh, like the 3 dof uh, uh, rig, and next to it the sickle belt tensioner, which uh, if you see here on the thermos controller, I assigned that to be number 5, okay? Uh, so, I'm going to go down to the belt tensioner, single belt tensioner section. There's some settings there. Uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want know what to set this on, you can do the belt range calibration assistant. So I'm going to do right now to show you. So you just follow the prompts. It says the, the platform will, will be started to calibrate the belt. If you want to continue, press OK. So it's sold. Yeah, start tightening, okay? It leaves it the platform, actually. So, it's uh, kind of tight, not too much. And, uh, because this is the default sender position. So this is the sender position, which is kind of tight, but not too tight, or loose enough. So I have this about 30%, that's what's uh, comfort comfortable for my belt here so I'm just gonna click OK the next one is the maximum pull position uh, I have set about 60 which is enough for my belt here but you might adjust it more or less so I'm gonna test the position now so you can see how it tights let me click there ok so that's pretty good squeeze there Okay, you can hear the motor buzzing, the maximum. Uh, so you can move it back to center to release it. So it's loose again. Uh, so next, the maximum release position, when it's gonna be, what it's gonna be, when it's completely loose. 2% is fine, so it's almost uh, the position you have it when you put it on. Next, at the uh, parking position, next, and then you can see what did you choose there, there's a little list, you can take a photo to remember it for next time if you mess up something or you want to adjust and you want to compare for before. So uh, you can save it, save calibration, and then the whole rig will park again, and uh, this will completely go to the composition. And uh, that's about it. Now let me see if we can try 
to uh, enable motion and uh, do manual control and try the belt okay Can you allow me oh, it is so it goes uh, for the belt but it doesn't it doesn't move The belt tension test axis kind of moves it, but not exactly. So, uh, but in the game, it will actually move correctly. I've tried it; it feels fantastic. So, anyway, you can disable everything, stop it, okay? And then just make sure to enable it to be ready. Oh, close this. Of the way, then dashboard, then ready to launch the game at play. All right, thanks for watching.